This is China Ancient Chinese Civilization The rich culture of ancient China is still perceptible in contemporary China. Farming villages gave rise to kingdoms like the Zhou, 1046 to 256 BCE, Qin, 221 to 206 BCE, and Ming, 1368 to 1644 CE. Each contributed in a unique way to the area. For instance, writing became more standardized, ironworking became more advanced, and eminent philosophers like Confucius and Sun Tzu lived and taught throughout the Zhou dynasty. The Terracotta Army was commissioned by Qin Shi Huang during the Qin Dynasty, and the Great Wall was renovated by the Ming Dynasty to defend China from Mongol invasions. Chinese New Year Every year, the Chinese New Year begins on January 21st and lasts until February 20th. It is the most well-liked holiday in China and among Chinese populations worldwide. These revelers are perusing a Singaporean Chinese New Year Bazaar. The Lunar New Year is the most significant event in China and among Chinese populations worldwide. It is also known as the Spring Festival or Chinese New Year. In Chinese, how do you say, Happy New Year? Depending on who you're speaking to, yes. Mandarin is the official language in China. Gong 11 FA Kai, which literally means, wishing you to be wealthy in the next year, is how Mandarin speakers wish you a happy new year. Cantonese is widely spoken in Chinese communities abroad. Gong Hei Fat Choi, which translates to, wishing you great happiness and prosperity, is how Cantonese speakers wish you a happy new year. Family and friends, eating and fireworks, parties and parades are all part of the two-week celebration. Chinese New Year was, for more than 3,000 years, the start of a brand new year according to the Chinese calendar. Dates in the ancient Chinese calendar are regulated by both the sun and the moon, lunar, making it a lunisolar calendar, solar. Every new moon, when the moon is not visible in the night sky, marks the start of a new month. The first new moon between the dates of January 21st and February 20th falls closest to the halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, marking the beginning of the new year. In 1912, China formally accepted the Gregorian calendar, which is used in the West. But the celebration was brought back in the late 20th century under the name, Spring Festival. Even while the Lunar New Year celebrations rarely follow a rigid schedule, some days are tied to particular customs or events. Check out some of the highlights here. To learn about the importance of some of the delectable dishes linked with the Lunar New Year, use the questions under the questions tab. Before New Year. Chinese residences are meticulously cleaned before the holiday begins. Cleaning represents getting rid of bad luck from the previous year and preparing the house for good luck in the upcoming year. Tradition dictates that brooms be stored during the first few days of the celebration in order to prevent the freshly arrived good luck from being swept away. Communities start to decorate with red in the days or weeks before Chinese New Year. This includes applying new red paint to the doors of homes and businesses, red paper cutout decorations, and red lanterns. In Chinese traditions, the color red symbolizes happiness and wealth and is most closely linked to New Year festivities. The reunion dinner, when family get together to celebrate hopes for the new year, is one of the customary methods to kick off the Lunar New Year celebrations. During the New Year celebrations, parties, fireworks, and the well-known lion dance that is well known to Western audiences are some of the festivities that are most frequently observed during the Lunar New Year event. Younger members of the family may start getting bright red envelopes filled with cash during the first few days of the Lunar New Year. These envelopes, known in Mandarin as Hong Bao or Lai Si in Cantonese, are commonly given to youngsters and unmarried people. The third day of the Lunar New Year is frequently more solemn and subdued than the first two. Going to see friends or relatives or having guests over is seen to be unlucky. 
This day is typically used to pay respect to departed family members by visiting their graves, lighting incense, or making paper sacrifices in their honor. The seventh day of the Lunar New Year is frequently observed as the day on which humans were created, or Runri. To respect our interdependence with all living things. The Jade Emperor, who according to Taoist doctrine rules over heaven, is said to have been born on the ninth day of the Chinese New Year. The Lovely Lantern Festival marks the end of the Lunar New Year celebration. Paper lanterns provide illumination for festivals, parades, and lion dances that go all day. The first full moon following the Lunar New Year is celebrated at the Lantern Festival with spectacular lights. The vibrant lanterns were initially made by monks to commemorate Buddha and are now exhibited both outside and inside temples. They are said to help wandering souls find their way home. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is not truly one of the few man-made constructions that can be seen from space, despite the fact that this is the one thing that most people know about it. Even from low Earth orbit, it is challenging to see the wall since it resembles the surrounding stone and earth, and it is also challenging to distinguish in most orbital photographs. This does not lessen the awe of this amazing antique edifice, though. Chinese authorities launched wall-building initiatives for millennia to defend the country from northern, nomadic invaders. In the Shandong province, a part of one such ancient wall that is still standing is built of the hard-packed dirt known as, rammed earth, and it is said to be 2,500 years old. Such walls protected the boundaries for many years throughout the Warring States period, before China was united into one country. China was unified by Qin Shi Huang, often known as the First Emperor, in 220 BCE. He oversaw the integration of the existing barriers into a single structure. The wall was constructed primarily of wood and rammed dirt at that period. Emperor after emperor built on and fortified the wall, frequently in an effort to stave off northern invaders. The wall was made of brick in certain areas. Granite or even marble blocks from quarries were employed in other places. As construction methods improved, the wall was continually updated. In 1368 CE, Zhu Yuanzhang, who later became the Hongwu Emperor, assumed control. He established the Ming Dynasty, which is renowned for its accomplishments in the pottery and painting arts. Watchtowers and platforms were added to the wall by the Ming emperors. The majority of popular pictures of the wall depict its stone construction during the Ming Dynasty. The length of the wall varies between 4,000 and 5,500 kilometers, depending on how it is measured, 2,500 and 3,400 miles. The Manchu rulers expanded Chinese power into Inner Mongolia in the 17th century, which diminished the wall's defensive value. Its significance as a representation of Chinese identity and culture hasn't diminished, either. Every year, many people view the wall. Even though it cannot be seen well from space, it is regarded as an outstanding masterpiece on Earth. Imperial China's Dynasties Chinese archaeologists have discovered what could be proof of one of the 4,000-year-old founding stories of the Chinese dynasty. The earliest of several ancient Chinese dynasties, the Xia, is believed to have existed from around 2070 BCE to 1600 BCE. However, it has been disputed if this dynasty and its culture actually existed. Many scholars believe that the Xia dynasty was a mostly fictional era of power that the later Zhou dynasty created to support its destruction of the Shang dynasty, which is believed to have overthrown the Xia dynasty. According to legend, Yu, the first Xia ruler, obtained the mandate of heaven by repairing the devastation left behind by a significant flood, divine right to rule. Archaeologists at the University of Peking have discovered evidence of massive floods that occurred around the time of the Xia dynasty perhaps verifying a portion of what was previously disregarded as a creation myth. The Xia dynasty established the family succession system that would later serve as the cornerstone of Chinese government, 
with sons ascending to the throne after their fathers. The first Shang ruler overthrew the Xia dynasty around 1600 BCE. The Shang dynasty is occasionally regarded as the earliest of China's dynasties since the Xia dynasty's existence is controversial. Chinese culture and inventions grew throughout the approximately 600-year reign of the Shang dynasty, a time of relative cultural and economic stability. Writing was created during this time period, and many subsequent historians considered it to be a golden age. The Shang dynasty came to an end and the Zhou ruler deposed the Shang king in 1046 BCE. The Zhou dynasty, which reigned in ancient China from 1046 BC to 256 BC, was the longest. The Zhou period is split into two eras, Western Zhou, 1046 to 771 BCE, with Haojing as its capital, and Eastern Zhou, 770 to 256 BCE, with Luoyang as its new city as a result of fighting. Mozi, Confucius, and the earliest works on Taoism were among the most important writers and thinkers of ancient China to flourish under the Zhou period. The Warring States period, which lasted from 476 to 221 BCE, marked the start of major internal strife in the seven Shang-controlled territories. However, this stability would not endure. In the end, the Qin soldiers would triumph, toppling the Shang emperors in 256 BCE. China and the Terracotta Warriors The first time the title Emperor was used to refer to a dynastic leader was during the Qin Dynasty, 221-206 BCE, under the leadership of Qin Shen Huang. Although this imperial rule only lasted for two emperors in 15 years, some of the most important initiatives in the ancient world were started during this time. During the Qin era, the surrounding lands were united with China and placed under the control of the emperor. As he started his autocratic regime and made enormous infrastructure improvements, Qin Shen Huang also started building the Great Wall of China. When Qin Shen Huang passed away in 210 BCE, the emperor had him buried in a tomb guarded by an enormous army of terracotta warrior figures, numbering close to 8,000. The Qin dynasty is also credited with giving China its name in Europe. His son, Qin Erishur, succeeded Qin Shen Huang, but his rule lasted just three years when he was overthrown in 206 BCE because of his unpopularity. The first emperor of the Han dynasty was Liu Bang, the rebel's commander. Another golden age of China occurred under the Han period, 206 BCE-220 CE. Han emperors constructed the Silk Road, a conduit for trade connecting Asia with the Mediterranean and East Africa, during this time, and commerce grew. During this time, the historian Sima Qian produced a large body of writings, and Confucianism was recognized as the state religion. After the final Han emperor was overthrown in 220 CE, the Three Kingdoms era began. In the following 300 years, from 220 to 589 CE, no significant dynasty houses came to dominate China. The territory was partitioned between the suzerainties of Chao Wei, Xu Han, and Dong Wu during the Three Kingdoms period, which lasted from 220 to 280 CE. Between 386 and 581 CE, the area further split into the northern and southern regions. Before being deposed by the Tang Dynasty in 618 CE, the short-lived Sui Dynasty rose in 581 CE to unify the northern and southern regions. The Tang Dynasty, frequently referred to be the greatest of the dynasties, was very stable. It's interesting to note that Wu Zetian, China's sole imperial regent, ruled for 20 years in 683 CE and implemented several changes before being forced to resign in 704 CE. Mongol Takeover The Tang Dynasty was followed by a time of warfare before the Song Dynasty took control in 960 CE. The first paper money ever printed in history was released under the Song Dynasty. The Mongols, led by Kublai Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan, conquered the Song dynasty in 1279 CE, ending its reign. The Mongol Horde, which later controlled China as the Yuan dynasty from 1279 CE to 1368 CE, reached its greatest extent with the invasion of China. 
The Venetian trader Marco Polo visited China during Mongol authority and wrote extensively about his journeys along the Silk Road. The Ming Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang overthrew the Yuan dynasty in 1368 CE, establishing a stable but authoritarian empire. In an effort to maintain their eroding frontiers, the Ming emperors ordered massive building and restoration along the Great Wall of China. The Ming dynasty was finally overthrown in 1644 CE by the Manchu invasion troops from the northern frontier, which also brought about the establishment of the Qing dynasty. The Last Emperors The Qing dynasty, which ruled from 1644 CE to 1911 to 12 CE, is known as the final era of Chinese rulers. Instead of Han Chinese, the Qing were Manchu. The nomadic Manchu people are from what is now northeastern China and have their own language and traditions. Chinese territory grew to its highest size during the Qing era. The Qing dynasty was largely peaceful, but as confrontation with Western countries grew in the 19th and 20th centuries, the last of the Chinese emperors, Puai, abdicated in 1911 CE in favor of a republican government. Taoism Taoism, sometimes written Taoism, is an ancient Chinese religion and philosophy that has affected popular culture and national belief. The Tao Te Ching, the primary text of Taoism, was authored by the philosopher Lao Tzu approximately 500 BCE. According to Taoism, both people and animals should coexist in harmony with the Tao, or the cosmos. Taoists think that after death, the spirit of the body merges with the world, therefore granting them spiritual immortality. The Tao Te Ching, also known as The Way and Its Power, is a body of poetry and proverbs that dates back to the 3rd and 4th centuries BCE and serves as the foundation for Taoist philosophy and practice. Although Lao Tzu is credited as the book's author, there is actually very little proof to support this. The Tao Te Ching is really a compilation of older quotations from other writers. Lao Tzu was given credit as the author of this text for cultural and political reasons. Lao Tzu has been accorded legendary status and is occasionally interpreted as the Tao, a divinity, or both. Although the Tao, or Tao, is difficult to describe, it is occasionally thought of as the universe's natural order. According to Taoism, all living things should coexist peacefully with the cosmos and the energy that exists within it. The energy that permeates and governs everything in the cosmos is known as Qi, or Qi. The Tao Te Ching and other Taoist works offer instructions on how to behave and do spiritual practices that are in tune with this energy. Taoists, however, do not see this energy as a deity. Instead, the Taoist religion includes gods that were frequently imported from the many cultures located in what is now known as China. These deities, like all living beings, are a part of the Tao. Taoist communities are served by temples, monasteries, and priests who provide sacrifices, practice meditation, and carry out various rites. The belief in opposing forces, sometimes known as yin and yang, is one of the central concepts of Taoism. These concepts stand for complementary pairings that function as a single, all-encompassing totality, such as light and dark, heat and cold, motion and stillness. Yin and Yang demonstrate how the cosmos is interconnected and that nothing is comprehensible on its own. In the 9th century CE, Taoism rose to prominence as the official religion of the Tang dynasty. It persisted alongside Buddhism and Confucianism in the ensuing centuries, another philosophical religion. Taoism, Confucianism, and other religions were, however, outlawed following the communist takeover in 1959. Taoism was less often practiced in China as a result of this. Despite recent reforms in China increasing the number of Chinese Taoists, the majority of modern Taoists are concentrated in Taiwan. Thank you for watching. View more our channel videos.